everyone welcome back my name is Zane today we're having a look at Fisker all electric Fisker Ocean makes its UK debut at 2022 Goodwood Festival of Speed electric venue so this is quite exciting so straight away we've got some images released on Twitter I honestly can't believe I missed this event um, unfortunately I was on vacation so I do apologize apart from that my vacation was quite lovely but it would have been nice to see these vehicles in, in person, not just the Fisker Ocean, but of course there's many other vehicles being um, showcased at Goodwood Festival of Speed, including Lucid, Polestar vehicles, lots of Polestar vehicles, Arrival as well. Absolutely incredible to see this. So this was the official UK debut of the Fisker Ocean. Obviously, we know these cars are going to probably be built in Austria, I think, by Magna. So this is extremely exciting, but to be honest with you, I did not know that Fisker was going to be debuting these vehicles in the UK at Goodwood Festival. I didn't know. Now just to let you know a few things, Goodwood Festival of Speed is an iconic motorsport event, especially in the UK, and it represents a lot of vehicles all around the world. It's a well-known event. So it was quite natural to see these companies attend in Goodwood. Now, the Fisker Ocean hits the United Kingdom shores for the first time ahead of its scheduled start production in November 2022 and will feature the electric venue concourse. The Festival of Speed Showcase for Electric Vehicles and Technology right-hand drive Fisker Oceans will be available in mid-2023 for the UK market. So that's quite interesting. Halfway next year, probably Q2 or Q3, the Fisker Ocean will be available for the UK market. So this event was actually held in the beautiful grounds surrounding Goodwood House. The 2022 uh, Goodwood Festival of Speed is an iconic motorsport event. The Fisker Ocean will be featured. Now, just a few quick extra things to add. The, five, the Fisker Ocean is a five-passenger sport vehicle, and it has a range of around 250 miles, with a starting price of $37,499 in the US. The top trim Fisker Ocean Extreme travels 250 miles on a single charge with, with dual moto all-wheel drive three driving modes and many first to market safety features so that's quite interesting now apart from that some other news fisker to participate in upcoming investors conference now this already took place so why am i talking about this well because i believe that this had an impact on the fisker share price to be quite honest the market value is still at 2.7 billion if you look at the last six months, it's obviously been going downwards. It's been going downwards. Compared to a lot of company, it's actually doing relatively good. Allow me to put this in perspective. In March, the middle of March, the, the bottom price for a fiscal share was $10.30. And right now, the share price is actually $9.19. There's not that much big of a difference. It's a dollar and ten. So despite the fact that it, it has been losing value, not as much as we initially thought compared to the rest of the market. You look at companies like um, Canoe and Arrival, they've lost a lot more value. I believe one of the reasons is because of the, the conference, the investors conference call. You know, the most important thing is to get investors to hold on to their shares for a longer period. That way the share price doesn't fall because the more investors sell, the faster the price will fall. That's why I believe that that's quite crucial. Now, in other news as well, Fisker claims its Ocean EV surpassed 50,000 reservation. That is a significant rise from the 40,000 reservation announced by the EV startup in early April 2022. Now, this is actually before the Goodwood Festival of Speed. A lot of companies who were attending the Goodwood Festival of Speed, they will see a huge increase in pre-orders for their electric vehicles. A huge increase. Because the Goodwood Festival of Speed is a huge event. Not just for the UK, but this event is well known all around the world. So Fisker is also promoting their vehicles in many other places, including Rodeo Drive in, in California, I believe. And you know, this is a easy to like vehicle. This vehicle is really easy to like, especially from the outside. The, the, the only thing I don't like about this vehicle is the steering wheel on the inside. Now we know Tesla isn't very good at creating luxurious interior. And Fisco is no different. They're not very good at creating luxurious interior. It's extremely minimal, which is not always a bad thing, but I also want to see some style. You take a look at the Polestar vehicles and you realize that despite the fact that their, their price target is targeting the likes of um, Porsche and the Tesla vehicles, the, the, the Polestar vehicles are still 
quite nice to to experience. They're still quite luxurious, this, despite the fact that they're targeting Tesla audience as well. And in earlier news from June the seventh, Fisker says Ocean still coming in 2022. Cites Magna Delivery out of the world product. Now production is set to be started in in November this year, almost close to the end of the year. In fact, it is the end of the year if you think about it. Now, as of February 2022, the Fisker Ocean received over 34. 31,000 reservations totaling 1.7 billion in potential revenue. But like I said recently, that number has increased quite a bit. It's increased to 50,000 reservations. That's extremely good, or if you rather, 50,000 pre-orders. Once again, this vehicle will be built by Magna Styra for the foreseeable future. But just to touch on Goodwood once again, this is the festival. This is all part of the festival. Lots of automakers and cars from all around the world, different car makers, all come to Goodwood to show off their most impressive vehicles. I don't think Tesla does this. I, I don't think Tesla attends Goodwood, but um, then again, they don't really need to. But it's quite interesting to see where Fisker is at. So we understand where they're at with attending Goodwood. We understand where they're at in terms of uh, reservation. But keep in mind that if you do live in the US, you do get certain incentives for buying electric vehicles. And that is a really good thing. And these incentives, they're also included in the Fisker Ocean. They're included in almost any electric vehicle. There I say, almost any electric vehicles. But it's really crucial to get more people to purchase electric vehicles and that's really good. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. If there's any other news in the space of Fisca that you'd like me to discuss or look into or explain, subscribe, leave a comment and let me know. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching until the end.